off of um, headphones. Still a bit loud. Okay, I got you. I got you. Thank you, sub. Okay. About the same? Yeah. <laughs> better one, better two. No. Nah. Perfect. Okay, yeah. We're going to hang out here for a bit. Great. So, everybody. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm in um, streamer growth ro woes right now. I'm trying to, like, try, trying to, like, pretty up some things around here. Um, so, for example, I've got this mic, and I use this for podcasting and stuff, and I love this. This is great. Um, and I've got speakers. But I'm, I'm trying to figure out a good way, everybody, to get rid of these headphones. Because, I mean, I mean look, at, look at this. Look at this. Don't you, yeah, I know I got to speak into this. Don't you want to just like be able to see me? Like, I, and also like, I want to be able to hear the music and also not have this like echoey in my, yeah. So any, anyway, this is, this is like first world problems, right? I, I mean, this is not, this is not a real problem for me, but it's like, I'm just tweaking some things, you know, we're just, we're just trying to advance the medium. We're trying to advance the stream a little bit. We're trying to become professional Noctis as much as we can. Okay, because you know that's that's it. So, um, anyway, that's all that to say. That's why my sound was all jacked up. <laughs> okay, that's why my sound was all jacked up. But, but I think we're I think we're okay now. Um, but it, here's the thing: I want you to be able to hear the music, guys. Like, I you got to be able to hear the music. So, if you can't hear the music, let me know, and we'll we'll make it good. We'll make it good. Hey, it uh, looks like there's a. Don't want that headphone crater in my head. I don't. I don't. And like, I've also got this real fear that I'm gonna get like accelerated male pattern baldness because of the like strap on, on my head here. And like that, that would be a tragedy, right? Like, I, I, I think that that would be. Uh, I mean, I, I, I know eventually we're all gonna have to like shave our heads and get the goatee like all the CrossFitters do. But like, I'm just not. I'm not ready to accept that fate quite yet you know what i'm saying oh thank you roxy i um i want you to understand that everything is very intentional okay <laughs> like <laughs> i i left the gym i took a shower and here i am <laughs> your will is so strong <laughs> oh my gosh good head of hair yeah right so like i, I i'm right now right now I am I'm blessed with some hair and like we so the headphones like I I'm superstitious maybe not superstitious a little stitious but I, I just I, I just want to keep it so anyway it, it's like what people said about creatine right like creatine exacerbates hair loss um but I, I mean that didn't stop me uh so here we are <laughs> y'all are learning a lot about my my life today <laughs> Wasn't, wasn't ready for this. But again, here we are. It's still a tad loud. I can fix that. I can fix that. Yeah. I <laughs> may be a little suspicious. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna try this. Pro I don't chug creatine. I I don't I don't chug creatine. I um I use the recommended daily dosage of creatine in with my protein shakes. Uh, yeah, Professor Creatine. Listen, we're really trying for that Rogue Fitness sponsorship. Like, I, I, I don't know if Rogue Fitness does, like, a, a, a gamer, streamer kind of endorsement. But, man, I would... That'd be amazing, right? I, I, would, I would love that. So, anyway. Lone Star, you wore a baseball cap for decades and your hair is still going strong in your 40s heck yeah love that um i wore a ball cap for you i still wear a ball cap all the time so yeah so may maybe this is but also like there is the muffled sound right you know that's that's it so anyway <laughs> let's all tag road fitness on twitter yeah attack them right <laughs> like it's a fitness thing. Thought I was crazy not knowing what that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They can't say no to all of us. <laughs> I bet they can. They're kind of a big deal. Oh, sub. Lucky. Lucky. Half my family is not doing well with the, the male pattern baldness or the receding hairlines. And 
others of us are good, so I don't know. Folks, before we get into everything tonight, uh, just a couple of announcements. Um, first of all, like you probably saw on Twitter, but shock of my life, during my endless day of traveling to go and perform a wedding across, uh, like, you know, <laughs> I had to fly to a location, perform the wedding, and fly back home all in the same day. In that day, I was notified that I was eligible for YouTube partner. And um, I thought that it might take a month, maybe even be rejected, because they said it'll take a month. And uh, yesterday, if you saw on Twitter um, or on social media at all, um, I, I got partner. I got YouTube partner. So, like, heck freaking yeah. I, like, how cool was that? Um, I was not expecting that. I was not expect. I don't know how YouTube works, if it's anything like Twitch at all, but I'm, I'm learning little bit by little bit but anyway I just wanted to say to you all um, thank you because you were a part of that you are a part of that um, that YouTube partnering and uh, I, I can't thank you enough um, I've told my story several times on this stream you know it probably but I started all of this because I, I because of COVID and because I need to do lectures for my Final Fantasy 15 class and um, I never dreamed that anybody would give a rip if it wasn't for class credit. And yet here we are, you know, um, here, here we are. Um, but even more than just the like uh, lectures and the academics of it, um, it's just a really cool community we're building, right? Uh, that we were up late last night talking about uh, food recipes and how we're going to do food streams during our Final Fantasy 15 lecture play, which I think is great. A new recipe and all that. So it's going to be it's going to be really fun. So anyway, y'all are just awesome. So I just wanted to say thank you um, for that because um, it, it, it's amazing. Yeah, like I never would have dreamed any of this and uh, it's it's cool and uh, we're not done. I mean, we're 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 keeping on keeping on best as we can, which is really, really cool. Truly professional Noctis. Heck yeah. We love that. Um. So uh, that's the first thing. Uh, the second thing tonight, um, if you have seen my Twitter uh, at all, um, I guess today, man, I, kinda, I think I kind of said this uh, last week or yesterday or something as well. Um, but tonight we are also going to be joining with my friend uh, John Reeves. If you don't follow John Reeves over on Twitter and certainly on Twitch and YouTube, um, he is like breaking out in the... Uh, the BTS music scene, uh, not as like a performer or anything. He is a musician, but he does reviews of these things. And he also plays some video games. He and I met when he was playing through Final Fantasy VII. He's become like a, a really good real life friend of mine. Um, in fact, when I was traveling, I got to hang out with him a little bit and found out his sister goes to Bama and all this kind of stuff. So like, um, anyway, really good friend of mine. And um, he wanted to do... Uh, something for um, for this um, earthquake stuff in Japan, and so he found a charity called World Central Kitchen that does immediate relief, like food um, relief for those in need affected by natural disasters. And tonight we're going to be um, tonight we're going to be raising some funds for that. Um, our goal, and not just me and John, but any of the streamers and YouTubers. That he's working with we're all trying to raise funds this week for it and we're kind of on the front end of it um as you can see we've got a, a stream thing right down here uh like a um a progress bar um and uh we've raised seven hundred dollars out of five thousand um up to this point so before we get into the stream tonight and we'll get into the lecture and all that kind of stuff we're gonna play final fantasy 7 remake i did want to tell you a little bit about this charity because um even if you can't give and and please don't don't like hurt yourself to give or anything like that um but even if you can't give i i want you to um share this on your social media and stuff uh that we're we're trying to raise some funds and make a difference okay so here we go um let's uh let's bounce over real quick um to this and i'm going to show you one quick thing really quick yeah so here's the uh website for uh, World Central Kitchen. I wanted you to know a little bit about 
this place. So it's the first, uh, it's first to the front lines providing fresh meals in response to humanitarian climate and community crises. Um, and uh, you can go over to their website, it's wck.org. Um, but World Central Kitchen started with a simple idea at home with my wife Patricia. When people are hungry, send in cooks, not tomorrow, today. And I think that's such a really, really cool thing. So we're gonna take a second to just watch this brief, uh, brief video just to kind of get a feel for them and then we'll get on with the lecture stream, okay? All right, let's, let's start this together. Oh, well, I said let's start it and then I didn't press the button. So let's do it. <laughs> I love that, you guys. Um, so let, let me talk a little bit about that for a second. Um, so this, this is amazing because, you know, we, we play these games and we, we, um, we uh, try to extract meaning for our lives in these games and talk about academics and try to learn new things about other cultures and all this kind of stuff. But in my recent lecture uh, video, um, or video lecture, I guess, um, there's a point in it where I talk about Aerith at the end, and I talk about this thing that I, I kind of see in a lot of religious communities where um, there's this tension between the importance of thoughts and prayers and the mandate, the, um, the, the importance of action. And I think that that tension always exists. And, and uh, since I mentioned that in the lecture play, or the video lecture rather, um, I feel it's important for us to also do things and stuff. So um, not just offer well wishes and like, hey, um, hope you're doing okay <laughs> and stuff, but to actually do something. And so um, if you can give, love for you to give tonight. And if you uh, can, can just spread the word, then we'd love for you to do that as well. But thank you for being here. And we're going to start Final Fantasy VII Remake now. So um, as we get into this, let me share just a couple of things with you, uh, where we've been and where we're going, okay? So the last couple of, um, last couple of uh, streams, we've done two lecture plays thus far here um, for 7 Remake. The first one we did chapter 1 and 2, the bombing mission, followed by the uh, kind of making your way toward the Sector 7 slums, and we talked about morality in that one. In the second stream, we uh, were just in the uh, Sector 7 slums, and we followed Tifa around. She kind of gave us lessons for life on the ground floor. And uh, anybody remember the lessons for life on the ground floor we talked about? They were super practical, right? And we talked about Maslow's hierarchy of needs and how people are, um, are, are all trying to make their way towards self-actualization. Carry a big stick. Yes, Roxy, that's exactly right. We love that. So always carry a big stick, carry it on your back so that people can see it as you're walking down uh, the middle of the slums. So very, very important. What's up, Kurai? How you doing? How you doing? Man, we got, we got some of the old guard in here tonight. It's good to see. Good to see everybody. Um, so tonight, we're going to get to go topside. Uh, we're going to uh, go to Jesse's home. Um, and uh, it's going to be good stuff. It's going to be really good. Um, to, to learn some things about what it's like on the top floor rather than the ground floor. And then, then we're going to move into chapter five and begin thinking about the philosophy of Heidegger. We're not going to really get into it tonight, but we are going to get um, a teaser for a character named Heidegger, okay? With that, let's get started, shall we? And back to where we were. Yes, back to where I left off. Oh, exactly where we left off. Um, if you don't remember, uh, just just out of curiosity, is anyone a complete Final Fantasy VII remake newbie? Any any new folks in the chat? This is where Cloud's living in Sector Seven, just kind of overnight. He's got this sweet Chocobo show, though. Um. Do we think that there will be a Chocobo show in Seven Rebirth? Do we think? Okay. Sub. <laughs> Liar. <laughs> Sub, you're one of the most, like, knowledgeable FF7 fans in the world. So, like, <laughs> put that hand down, sir. Uh, <laughs> Racy May, yes. You, as always, 
Love it. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Um, so again, we've learned about life under the plate. Time to go topside with our dear friend, Jesse. If I can press the you right button. Set? We are all set. Awesome. Meet me at the station after dark. Don't be late. The music in this scene, yes. <laughs> FF7 music, I'm so glad that you're in the chat tonight because you can really help us appreciate the music. It's um, just another job. Ooh. Just another job. Great song. Tough break. They changed the times. Last train's already left. Which is why we borrowed these bikes. Need a lift to the plate? How did you guess? Easy. You've been acting weird. Like talking about one thing when you're obviously thinking about something else. <laughs> yeah, and don't get me started on all that pep. All right, I'll give you that. But how did you know I wanted to head topside? Was I talking in my sleep? What else did I say? No, we just figured you wanted to see your parents, that's all. Nailed it, huh? Yep, right on the head. So, seeing as we don't have any family of our own, how about you let us be a part of yours for a bit? You know, spread the wealth. <sighs> Are your parents still around? Huh? Uh, no. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay then. Guess you're yeah, all orphans. Here's to awkward family reunions. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> I take it you boys have Please no one clip me going orphan. Yes, <laughs> and let's lay down some rubber. Try that frog. Okay, you got it. Oh y'all. You hear me? I am not professional yeah. Noctis on a motorcycle, I'll tell you that. Just so you know, I'm not going plate side for the reason they think I am. Look, you saw the way the reactor went up. It was huge, right? Yep. Because of all the Mako. Isn't that what you said? Yeah. That was wishful thinking. Deep down, I know it was my fault. I used a more powerful blasting agent than the directions called for. It had nothing to do with the Mako. So, that's a pro move. For I'll real it is. Right. So what? I'm planning on using a weaker blasting agent this time. But, since I can't get in touch with my supplier, our only option is to loot a warehouse owned by Shinra. Shinra? Good luck with that. With your help, we won't need luck. Look at these eyes. The eye graphics are so good. Scan. Ready? Let's go. Oh, get off me, Biggs. Yeah, that's right. You do know how to drive, Complete. I'm right? uh, so not really. Oh, man, I didn't do that. We'll see about that. Where? Oh. How can I not? Pursued by villains. A young couple thrust together by fate race through the neon street nuts. Come here, you. Leave my friend alone! Oh, we got another guy? Oh, there we go. What's up? Oh, that's how you do it. Oh, I see, I see. As you can tell, it's been a minute. <laughs> I'm trying to pop his tires. Oh, boy. Wedge, let me use the ramps. This guy. 
We did not slow down. You jerks. Shut up. I'm with Cloud. Shut up. I got him. Let's go, baby. I love this. My ramp that time, Wedge. She talks when she's nervous. That's right. Hey, oh. Oh, he takes two hits. We might be. Ready? Oh, you jerk. I'm trying, bro. Oh, he's throwing grenades. This is not motorcycle safety. I don't really have an academic lecture for motorcycles. Except one time, my mom uh, was a nurse, and um, she told me one time when I was a child about a motorcycle accident that, uh, oh no, about a motorcycle accident that uh, she had to take care of and said, don't get in motorcycles, kids, because you will forever ruin your face. So there's my sweet lecture on that. I am not doing awesome. Oh, I do like this music. Oh, let's go, let's go. Well, well, you really are good at this. I am really good at this. Don't forget it, Jesse. Okay, so for real though, are we excited about the motorcycle mini game at the Gold Saucer for Rebirth? Because I am 100% excited about it. I love the mini games. I love them. All right, where is that guy? Did did Big kill him? Nope. Thanks, Jesse. If you keep saying it, I'll believe it. Let's go. Let's go. Anything with speed is exciting. Mm, mm. Everybody, one of the best characters in Final Fantasy VII Remake. Oh, you jerks. Whoa, let's go. No, you don't. Ooh, that was, that was a good move. That was a good maneuver. If I do say so myself. Yeah, let's go. Get him, get him, get him. Honestly, put Cloud in Mario Kart. That's what I say. The cringe lord, yeah. Oh, sorry, that's Wedge. You do look like kids on trikes. I would love for Cloud to be, man, it's so good. Roach has got to be in Rebirth. I'm wondering if he's going to be in Costa del Sol, if we're going to ride on Segways and race. Or he'll be at the Gold Saucer, but if he's not in the snowboarding minigame in part three, y'all, I will, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'd say I'd shave my head, but we've already talked about me going bald, so. Yeah, I haven't seen evidence of it. I'm ready for it. I am not doing awesome. Also, I'm killing big and wedge right now. Time's up. Break off before he shows. 
Sephiroth and Mario Kart would be amazing. Did anyone play Chocobo GP? Get a Final Fantasy tattoo? Oh my gosh. No, baby. He's insane. I love this guy so much. Cloud's just like, what in the world? I love him so much. He's insane. A race. Ah, oh, jerk. What is his deal? Wrong way, Cloud. Ugh. This guy's the worst. I love him. Oh, nice, Cloud. Oh, that was cool. Oh, get off me. Oh, you jerk. No, you don't. Woo. Get off my friend. Hey, yo. Faster, Cloud. Faster. Oh, jerk. No. That hurt. Listen, I'm trying. There we go. Fascinating. You have promised and an abiding affection for your mouth. But one cannot simply ride one's bike. Oh, ow. That hurt. One must unlock its true potential. Become one with the machine. Oh no! This is insanity. Oh, that was a terrible choice. Dang it, I died! Okay. That was a bad choice. I should have braked. But uh, we are not going to give up. Because I do not do that. Roche is cringe. And yet, I would have him no other way. Uh, lady, that is probably because of a setting I put. I need to go in and change that. I'll do that after this madness. The timers are probably lining up wrongly. Oh, crap. Okay. Whoa. Speed Demon. A sword fight on bikes? I can't wait for the sword fight on snowboards, I'm telling you. It's gonna be so good. A little bit. Ow. Take care of your bike. You know you love it too. I only have eyes for you. Ah, I ran right into that. Get him, get him. Yeah. I love that Cloud is one-handing this gigantic sword. An abiding affection for your mouth. What a weirdo. 
And yet I love him. Oh crap, crap, crap. Crap again. No, you don't. Come here. Crab lightning. Hey, clown. You need some help here. Yeah, I bet you could. Me too. Me too, buddy. Oh, I'm not even guarding at all. Okay. I see what's happening. Whoops. Oh, crap, I missed. Wrong button. Come on, almost got him, almost got him. Come on. Cloud, end him. <laughs> we did it, first try. <laughs> Don't be absurd, as if I could ever grow tired of your company. <laughs> naughty, naughty, until one of our flames is forever extinguished, our flames will never rain. <laughs> I love that Jesse's Jesse's reaction was I'm going to shoot him. <laughs> this is so anime. I love it. Come on, let's push it past the red line. Jesse, take over. I love it so much. Also, freaking acrobat cloud. Well, well, well. I do believe this round is yours. <laughs> Maybe next time we can keep it just between the two of us. Maybe. <laughs> this is Advent Children. You're right. Music. Is Biggs wearing some pit vipers? I love this song. Ah. Uh. You failed the test. What test? Driving. I'm great at driving. <laughs> great at scaring your passengers, more like. Mm. Not used to having any. Maybe you should just let me drive. Mm. <laughs> Guess I'll take one for the team and be your back warmer again. Jesse. Jesse Risberry. Huh? Oh, would you look at that? It's the end of the ride. Would you look at that? Okay, everybody, never forget, I thought Jesse in the original was a cowboy. We'll go on foot from here. Don't want to draw too much attention to ourselves. <laughs> hey, hmm. did these things leave a mark? <laughs> they got you pretty good. Oh, and I'm running on fumes. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll top you up soon enough. Now let's roll. <laughs> oh, okay, chat. A bunch of you haven't heard that Jesse is a cowboy. Okay. Let me see if I can find a, an image chat um, because we definitely need to do this. Jesse FF7 or OG. We'll see. Um, where is she? <laughs> okay. We'll, we'll use this one. Hey, what's up? 
Dabster plays raid with a party. Yeah, let's go, bud. Thank you so much for that. You came in at just the right time because it's it's story time. It's story time, everybody. Uh, so we're gonna um, I'm gonna pull this up. What's up? Thank you for the raid. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much. Okay, so is she on this page? Is she on this page? They showed me a picture of her, but it doesn't. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, here we go. All right, chat. Um, let me add. I'm going to add a, uh, a quick moment for you. Okay. Okay, everybody. So, chat, here we are. We can see it now. Everybody, look at Jesse. Do you see this? Okay, you can't really see this. I see what's happening. Sorry, this is not professional Nivis. This is professional Nivis right here. Everybody, do you see this? It looks like she is wearing... <laughs> I didn't think that was her hair back in 1997. I thought that was a cowboy hat, and I thought Jesse was a cowboy, okay? I, I thought, and like it's even worse from the side. I wish that I could find a picture of her from the side because like I literally, I play, I've played through this game. I've played this, through this game a minimum of once a year since 1997, everybody. Since 1997. So that is what? 26 times minimum. And sometimes I played it twice, sometimes three times. And I would complete it to perfection, 100%. It. Nights at the round it every single one of these times. And every time I thought that this was a cowboy. <laughs> and Jesse, I knew a Jesse growing up, and it was a dude. So anyway, all that to say, <laughs> all that to say, don't believe your eyes. Tifa is a cowgirl. Yes. And they had made a precedent that there are cowboys and cowgirls in this. Um, and so I just assumed it was a cowboy. And I thought that Jesse the cowboy and Biggs were just really, really close. And they had like a sweet bromance and maybe more. I don't know. Um, it was 1997. And like there was a lot happening in the Final Fantasy VII world. This was also the first Final Fantasy that brought in profanity. So it was like, okay, we're going to have some more mature tones in this game as well um so anyway Mid midgar final fantasy 7 brokeback mountain jesse and big that that is if you want to know that's what i thought and i was like okay let's do this so there's my uh <laughs> there's my confession about what i thought about Jesse. So the fact that any of you listen to me about lectures, <laughs> it is ridiculous. The fact that any of you are like, this guy, this guy knows what he's talking about with that Final Fantasy VII stuff. This guy right here. No, no, no. <laughs> it's been a journey. I did not start out as professional Noctis. I've come so far. <laughs> listen. To residential areas just beyond this gate. Mind hey. doing the honors? <sighs> yippee ki -yay, Jesse. Right, you can see it. You can see it. I mean, the graphics, they were they were mind-blowing for 1997, but they still weren't good enough for me to figure out who Jesse was, right? Okay, so let, let's go. When did I realize? Um, I think it was when I read something online about Jesse being a girl. Um, I, I don't know. I, I, I really don't know when it was. I think it was before the remake. Here we are. I think, but it was much further. Where they put you when your parents work for Shinra. Sorry, my camera's like. Oh, their reactors were Look slowly at me, camera. The planet. We were living the good life. Okay, let's let's watch. Let's listen. Hmm. Looks like a turd. <laughs> okay. <laughs> y'all are y'all are killing me. Oh, I'm going to I'm going to tell uh cloud bot to calm down for a second um so yeah I'm, I'm cloud bot's going off so let's uh 
Let's turn down some of these guys. Let's see, let's see. Okay, I think that that's probably good. Oh, I see the problem. They're just bl blitzing like every five seconds. Okay, let's not do that then. That one's good, that one's good. Great, okay, I think that'll make the uh, the bot calm down. Sorry, buddy. All right, so um, this is a really big, um, a big theme in this game. We've got the idea. We last last stream we talked about the life under the plate, and we talked about Maslow's hierarchy of needs. We asked the question, "What is the good life when you're not living the good life?" Right? And how do you get that? How do you get the good life when you're not living the good life? And we talked about all of the different ways that you can you can do that. Um, climbing up that ladder. Up here, we see the good life. Right? We see you have. Um, Everything from, what is this, basketball courts. You can see the night sky, even though it's a little cloudy now. You get to see what the, quote, good life is. And yet, we will see that on, even topside, they have uh, even toy trains uh, and, um, and blocks and things like this. Basketballs, bicycles with little cute little baskets on them. And uh, Moogle Palms on the back. Did y'all notice that this bicycle, by the way, is a Moogle? Look at this. Um, it's got the uh, white and the purple. And then it's got the little Moogle Palm on the back side. So, I mean, they have, like, they have things that do not exist in the slums unless it's like hand-me-downs. Absolutely um, wild sort of, sort of stuff. And yet we see that everything's not always as it seems. Um up here top side oh you can kick the ball i don't, I don't think i need to ch kick the ball you can't throw the ball but yeah um i think that's such a really cute sort of thing we uh you don't see a moogle in this game but you will see it yeah wait you do it's a summon it's a summon hoven yeah the chocomog thing so I, again just the the disparity between the top plate uh top side and then under the plate that's something to keep in mind in here it's kind of cool oh the moogle emporium you're right you're right you're right there's several moogles there's several moogles in this game come here ah no dice excuse me someone's it. playing hard to get i love that moogle bike it's so cute and the posters ah here's a um Crisis Core reference, the Benora White, um, Apple Juice, Wedge is so pure. Folks here must be living up three or four times what I do. Three or four times. Yeah, music, that's, believe it or not, that's actually the first time I've caught that, uh, as well. Um... Hmm. Crisis Core Reunion is a great game. Oh my gosh, it's really fun. It plays different than this, but it is closer than the PSP version. Um, again, they've got cars. You can see into their homes. I mean, it's just such a nice thing. But then you've got this foreboding backdrop of these reactors, right? Figures. Still leaves the lights on every night. For the girl who only comes home once every other blue moon. Mom's an old-fashioned type like that. Think she'll make us pizza? Her Midgar special? She's quite the cook. Quick to whip up finger-licking food, even if you drop by in the dead of night. And she loves guests who ask for seconds or thirds. Okay, let's head in. Cloud, you know what to do. Why don't you wait around the corner over there? Yeah, uh, Yarn, that's okay. exactly it's right. It's a shame you won't get to try the Midgar special. You would have really liked it. <laughs> Pizza does sound good. I had some pasta for supper tonight.
They tell Cloud about this great food, then they proceed without him. If somebody said they were about to eat pizza and they did not invite me, fighting words. With your help, we won't need luck. You'll take on just about any job, right? Well, I need you to rob my house. Think you can do that for me? Hmm. Go in through the back door when the coast is clear. The signal will be obvious. Once the lights come on, it's go time. I love the cats. I love them. Time to go. John Reeves, what's up, my brother? Oh my gosh, how you doing, man? Everybody, John Reeves in the chat. Uh, John is the guy that's uh, putting on this um, this uh, donation thing. So uh, everybody, say hey to John. Um, John, we uh, we watched the video uh, explaining the charity. And we uh, we talked about it a little bit earlier. Um, so we've raised a little bit of money. It looks like uh, 15 bucks on the stream so far. Not bad, not bad. Um, so excited. Uh, we're going to be co co streaming all week long. So um, anyway, if you haven't followed John Reeves, make sure you um, hit that follow button for him and check out his YouTube as well. John, what's up? Have you had any good ramen lately, bud? Second question, John, if at any point in your life, did you ever think in the original Final Fantasy VII that Jessie was a cowboy or somebody just wearing a cowboy hat instead of her hair? Because um, so that, that's a thing for some, some people. I'm not going to say who, but some people think that or thought that. Inside, you'll find a room with two doors. Some people, I don't know. Don't take the one in front of you. You want the room on the right. Hey, that's where you'll find. That's what it. that ding is. That's a donation. I was like, what is that ding? <laughs> Thank you for the donation. Appreciate that. It's Jill, the clank, clank, clank. <laughs> no, 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 that, that means we've got a donation. I wish they had told us who donated, but uh, thank you for the donations uh, so, so much. Okay, we're just going to do some environmental storytelling here. We've got the welcome mat. We've got a hat for people to wear, I guess. I mean, it's not Sorry about deep. <laughs> this will always be your home. What's up, Jedi? Oh, I, I just got that. Is that a Star Wars reference? Jedi? Oh my gosh, am I an idiot? It's like Spider-Man backwards all over again. Let's listen to their conversation. Fantastic as always, Mrs. R. I always keep enough ingredients on hand to make extra just for you. Jesse's mom oh, wow. has got it going on. Part of the family. She's all I want and I've waited so long. We'll be chatting mom up in Jet the I. So oh my There's gosh. No ever hear you. Dad'll be in there, but it's okay. Hmm. Seven music. I think. I need you to grab his Shinra ID card. And yeah, I know I should do it myself, but. <laughs> but I honestly don't think I'm up to it. Jesse's mom puts a pizza me, okay? like a DiGiorno's in the oven every night at the same time. In the on the off chance that Jesse's gonna come home that night. That's my canon head canon for this, right? Oh yeah, we've got a. We've got to talk about the visuals and the music as we go through this. Hey, thank you for the donation. Appreciate you. Um, the uh, 
like uh, Dapster, I don't know if you'd come in yet. Did you see the the Moogle bike outside? Pretty cool stuff. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, so let's check out. Let's check out some things. So we've got this little notification. This isn't it. This isn't it. It's just a bunch of papers. But it's got that Shinra logo, everybody. We love them. Then we've got some mixtapes over there. Maybe the same mixtape that Tifa had. Maybe Jesse gave them to everybody. I don't know. Then over here, we've got some photos. Let's look at this photo. Pizza Pringles, they do count. Jesse. And all the pictures of Jesse. So, everybody, I want you to pay close attention to this photo right up here. This is uh, one thing about Jesse. If you didn't know, she used to be an actress at the Gold Saucer, which is like the big amusement park in, in Final Fantasy VII. We don't go there in this game, but we know that she uh, played a star role in the play. And in Rebirth, we will actually get to watch that play. Isn't that amazing? Absolutely amazing. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty rad. Yeah, I didn't, there's a picture of her as an actress up there. Pretty amazing. And she plays the starring role in the play called Loveless, uh, which is pretty, pretty amazing. Um, in fact, I think that this is how we found that out right here. We will What's get this? to see it in Rebirth. We're going to read the letter. Dear Mom and Dad, sorry for not getting in touch sooner, but I'm working at the Gold Saucer as an actress now. It, it wasn't is. easy, and I had a lot of help from people along the way, but I managed to land a starring role mm. and closed our two tickets to my play. Looking forward to seeing you both there. Jesse Raspberry as the princess? It's only uh, partially heard in one other gameplay segment remake. I, I don't think I knew that music. That's awesome. So, yeah, uh, we, we kind of get that little tidbit of her being at the Gold Saucer, that she was an actress. Really, really cool stuff. Um, if you look at the latest um, theme song trailer, you actually get to see um, a scene of the play, uh, but this time it's going to start uh, star uh, Aerith. Um, in, in that role, uh, which is kind of a, a canon sort of thing as far as like a different person, not Jesse, playing that role in the, in the future story. Okay, so then we've got Dad here, and he's on um, some life support. My dad, he was a maintenance supervisor at the reactor. Did Genesis hire her? Is that what you said, Hoenn? <laughs> uh, nice. Do I think we're going to be getting Genesis lore? Uh, yes. I do. Um, I, th I think that it is absolutely um, going to happen. Um, I don't know how, but I, I'm, I'm pretty confident we're going to. Um... Two FF4 references in the Rebirth Gold Saucer play. Uh, Rosa, Princess Rosa, right? And um, what else? What's the other reference? Final Fantasy IV reference music. None of us are ready for the Genesis cameo. Are you kidding me? All right, let's do it. They really did. Did the whole Minerva thing in Crisis Core. We'll see. Barrett's costume does look like Golbez with a different color scheme. Yeah, it does. You're right. That's cool. Oh, man. Chimera, get ready for it is all I got to say. It's hot. Oh, they're still eating the pizza. This is going to make me order a pizza later. I can tell you that right now. Okay. You 
Can we like look in there, please? God, oh. Low key on the Domino's website right now. Yeah. Ask for the Midgar special. Mission accomplished. I guess so. When are you going to give up on the gold saucer? <sighs> How long has it been since you even performed? Uh... A lot of people really rely on Jesse. As a stagehand, though, right? <laughs> you can be one of those anywhere. So why not come home and get a job at the Sector 8 Theater? Uh, I'll think about it. Hmm. You know, I'd really love to stay and chat, but we gotta go. So soon? Yeah, well, we hadn't even planned on dropping by. But Wedge wanted some of your famous mm. pizza. So good. So good. Should I tempt you with some more? Maybe just a couple slices, Mrs. R. Wedge! Hey, I'm, I'm doing it for you guys. You don't want me going to work on an empty stomach. I'm planning on using a weaker blasting agent this time. Since I can't get in touch with my supplier, our only option is to loot a warehouse owned by Shinra. Hey there. This it? Now comes the hard part. I'm gonna use this to sneak into the 7 6 annex. <sighs> All right, let's get to it. Sorry, but you're staying outside. Only I know what to steal from where, so it's gotta be me who goes in. So, we came all this way just to eat pizza? <laughs> you think I'd let you off that easy? You're gonna earn every slice helping Cloud. Just do the thing where you draw everyone's attention away, like you did at my parents. What's the word again? Maybe I'm more nervous than I thought. Diversion. Yeah, that. Nice one, military man. Military man. So what? Does this mean we're gonna ask some Shinra folks out to dinner? Hmm. Uh, you know damn well what she means. Uh, uh, While you're inside, we make sure the guards are focused on the outside, yeah? Exactly. Couldn't have put it any better. When you see a flare go up, that's your cue. Rush the front gates and make for the warehouse plaza. The more hell you raise, the more time you buy me. Huh. You're gonna run this guy into the ground, aren't you? How much time do you think you'll need? Not too much. I'll be in and mm. out. I'll send up another flare when I'm done. We rendezvous in the vacant lot up ahead. Hold on. How are we supposed to get back to the slums? Wait for the first train? No. I want to be back before that. Don't worry. I have something worked out. Now, let's get this done. <laughs> yeah, this well, is... That diversion's not going to create itself. This stream is sponsored by Domino's. Jesse's dad was in there. I want to get Rogue Fitness yeah. and Domino's to sponsor me. Marco like two me. polar opposites. <laughs> Happened while Jesse was doing a show with oh, the gold saucer. Ah, what do you care? No, I want to hear it. Jesse always wanted to be an actress. Worked her ass off for years. Until finally she caught a break. Top billing. Parents were thrilled. And then, right before opening night. Mm. Her dad had an accident collapsed from overwork and in the worst possible place Mako storage lay there half a day before someone found him been like that ever since no change whatsoever and that's what got her into planetology mm. and led her to seek out avalanche how far we've come oh. the casting Jesse's is so good I, they keep Thinks talking so I can't talk stuck but... now, between his body and the heart of the planet Mm. So if we don't shut down the reactors soon. You'll get caught up in the flow and poof. <laughs> What's so fu Chat! Can we just can we just talk for a second? Sub, you mentioned it a second ago, but like this is something to think about, right? What a what a freaking line. What a freaking line. Where we know that he is like in this in-between space between life and death, right? Holy crap. Um. Mm, mm. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's massive, right? Uh, because Wedge just said, Jesse has this theory. He's almost in this limbo between 
life in the life stream being absorbed back in that he's just somewhere in between and i oh man i know that we've got some new people in the chat but i i mean for those of us that are in the theory world thinking about what's happening in rebirth there there is some precedence for that um now i am since you're in the chat tonight i, I don't mind telling you because we're family here but um this is uh, th this is the topic of my second video, like the, the one that's coming up. Um, I haven't talked about what's in it, and I'm not going to talk about what's in it, all the details, but I'm talking about a theology um, in world theologies of, um, of this sort of thing, of what, what is it, what is this limbo space between life and death, and, and is there interaction in the real world with these limbo spaces? And I think it's really fascinating to think about. Uh, there are some real world analogs and parallels to this that I'm going to talk about in this video. But this scene right here is massive for that. It's not the only scene in the game either, but it, this is a massive scene. Um, sorry, I'm thinking in real time here. Uh, it comes out um, January 23rd. Tuesday, January 23rd, sub. Yeah, so... Um, the script is almost done, though I may add like a small bit. <laughs> um, that's what I was working on um, while I was in transit the other day. But uh, dang, y'all got me thinking. Y'all got me thinking big time. Um, so I, I mean, just to let you know, I mean, a, l a little bit of my thinking. Um, I. Hear me. I, I said this in my first video. I'm not much of a theory crafter. I'm not. I'm not. Like, that's not what I do. That's not my thinking. Because, like, I, I know that I'm going to be wrong, right? But instead, one of the things that I try to do is um, I try to offer different lenses to help people see things a little differently. And I try to do this in my classes as well. Because, like, your opinion, your thought, your theory is as good as mine. None of us know, right? Um... But there's something to some of this stuff that I think is is what's really interesting. Um, I will tell you, I'm not, I, I'm probably more in the, this is a remake of the original game camp than a sequel kind of guy. Um, I'm not saying that it couldn't be a sequel, but I, I'm saying that I really do think that it's a remake in the traditional sense of the word. Um, I also don't tend to think that we're dealing with a time travel narrative. And, and if you're not familiar with this story, Racy, I know that you particularly are not. Um, it gets kind of like on the cusp of time travel. Um, but when this game came out in 2020, I wonder if I was more in the mindset of like we were fresh off of Marvel movies at that point with in game and with time travel and um, all of that kind of stuff. And I feel like we were primed for that to, to be like a, um, a constant sort of thing. Like when we see things in media, it's like, oh, time travel would solve this. Right. But I, I never w really was convinced of that, uh, because the live stream, as I said in my previous video is, um, is omnitemporal and to have a knowledge of the live stream to extract some of that knowledge and to be able to read it like a book means that you're able to um, you're able to know things that are in the future. If you're talking about the foreknowledge of the planet, if the live stream is, as they say in the game a few times and certainly in the original, um, it contains all the memories of all life, and we know that all life lives, dies reforms and is reborn as another life form. It's very reincarnational in that respect. Not exactly, but, but similar. Then every iteration of that life and the memory of that life lives in the cycle of the life stream of the planet. And so I, I, in my previous video, I talked about it in terms of predestination. Because in theology, and not just Christian theology, but Calvinism particularly, um, d does this. The divine has a foreknowledge of all 
all things that will ever happen because there's a knowledge of all of those lives, of all of those memories um, that will ever be done. Um, and even though the divine is present in this moment and active in this moment, the divine lives outside of time and is able to um, even inter intersect and govern the destiny of the world, regulating the destiny of the world. Um, I share all this with you tonight just to reiterate what I said in that lecture. Um, because if someone were to interrupt the flow of that life stream, then it is altogether possible that you would create a kind of limbo state. Again, uh, I can't keep going. So um, we're going to get into some of the uh, some of the things in that. Look forward to January 23rd, everybody. Sorry about that. Oh, man. But that line was banger. Thank you, Sub, for even putting that in my head for a second. Um, I love that. I love that. Yeah, I, I can't go too deep on that. Um, again, it'll be another 15-minute miniature video lecture that'll explain um, explain it all. But, hmm. Who boy. You guys. We cooking tonight. We cooking. Cooking. It's going to be good. I, I, I'm going to tell you. And, and um, whenever I make a video, there's there's a couple of goals that I have. Number one, I want you to learn something. Number two, I want you to be entertained by something. And number three, I want you to be inspired to do something um, in all three of those things. So in, in the last video, the, the idea was... Um, Hopefully you're gonna you're gonna learn something. You're gonna be entertained by you know the the music and the video and stuff. And ultimately you'll be inspired to take the lessons of Aerith um, as she in, encounters Sephiroth, right? I, I think those are are, are meaningful things. That's like okay, this is a modern day myth, right? The story of Final Fantasy VII is a modern day myth for us. And what what do we take from that? It's a very human story. Okay. Okay, we are back to it, everybody. Just that I understand <laughs> how you feel. Unlike most of the time. You see. I hope y'all like getting a behind the curtain sort of thing of, of some of this stuff. I don't get to talk too much about my process on stream, but um, if it comes up, I'll, I'll talk a little bit about it. So, yeah. Hi, Sarah. What's up? Can somebody help give a synopsis? We've talked a lot about pizza and Jesse the Cowboy. <laughs> we just... Oh. Mako is the essence of life itself. Of memory and hope. Mm. It's not something you burn in a reactor just to keep the lights on. Hell no. Oh, uh... Don't tell Jesse about this little chat, okay? When she gets pissed, whew, she gets punchy. Well, no promises. He's serious, Cloud. She'll beat the shit out of him. <laughs> Not my problem. This guy. <laughs> uh. Hey, it's the lot Jesse was talking about. We run into here when we've got what we came for. <laughs> Gotta stay hidden. Wait for the signal. It's so quiet. Y'all, the thing I love about Seven and Seven Remake particularly is that it brings back the goofiness. The goofiness of Final Fantasy. And I love it. I love it so much. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Looks like someone beat us here. Hmm. And I don't think it was Jesse. This had better not get in the way. I don't think it was Jesse. It won't. <laughs> I freaking love Biggs and Wedge. They're so the good. Happened? Hey man, the plaza's that way. Warehouses are further in. Jesse's supposed to be circling around through the back, right? How's our okay, we're we're full health. Good. No need for us to rush. Let's scout it out first. I can handle this solo. Mm. What? You're trying to keep us out of it now? Don't be a jackass. <laughs> We're in this together. Don't expect me to save you. If you need to check your gear, now's the time. Give the word when you're good to go. You can use that vending machine over there to stock up. 
guess there's a training center too. Could go a few rounds before the main event. I'm good, boys. Man, I get really hungry when I'm nervous. I think we're good, everybody. Let's do this. Remind me, you've got summoning materia, don't you? There's no better way. Hey, to thanks for the donation. Those. Appreciate you. You'd be crazy not to equip it. Okay, well, I I'm pretty sure I have it, but um, now you've got me second guessing got myself, Biggs. I myself. Gun, spare mags. Other than that, uh... okay. Let's just make sure that we've got it right. Okay, I do have summon materia. Ifrit, do you like Ifrit? I want that Bahamut. How did it say Cloud has this equipped? Oh, it's on another one of his swords, I bet. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay. Oh no, this is on Tifa. Oh crap. My bad. My bad, everybody. Why am I doing this? It's hard to change UIs from game to game, isn't it? <laughs> All right, let's do this. I'm ready. So, ready as I'm going to be. All set. I am now. Okay. Let's go over the plan one last time. You start things off by cutting loose where everyone can see you. <clears throat> and us? We're the backup. First, we climb high enough to get a vantage point, then we go to town on them. Look at those eyes. Hey. Hmm. So, what did you want to talk about? Such a good transition. When spring comes, I'm leaving town. I'm going to Midgar. Should have figured. All the guys are leaving. But but I'm not like them. I'm not going just to look for work. Hmm. I'm going to be a soldier. The best of the best, like Sephiroth. The great war hero, huh? Hmm. Isn't it pretty hard to become a soldier? Yeah. So I won't be back for a long time. Guess not. Think you'll be in the papers? You said good. Try. Good eye. Just Promise me one thing. When we're older and you're a famous soldier, if I'm ever trapped or in trouble, promise you'll come and save me. Huh? That's what heroes do. They save people. Please? Just once. Uh... Come on, promise me. Fine. I promise. Absolutely zero conviction. God, that sky. That that's just beautiful. Like I, oh God, that scene. It just hits you, man. Like gosh, it's so good. It's so good, bro. Oh my gosh. I heard you're having second thoughts. And then the, oh. I know we have to think big if we're going to make a difference. But not like this. I just. I feel trapped. I feel trapped. Oh. That's the signal. Everybody, uh, music. I, I got to stop for a second. You just said something incredible for comparison. You, you said that this is a true memory because you're able to, to, like, there's no brain zap. Whenever there's a brain zap, we know something wonky is going on with Cloud's memory, right? You just said, great, great assessment with the music here, living up to your name. Uh, chapter one, flashback of childhood Tifa, Cloud has a brain zap. Uh, that's in chapter one, right? When they're talking about little, little bitty Cloud and Tifa. The music that plays during that scene is called Anxiety False Memories, and it's been confirmed that that memory was not real. Um, so that's that's a really interesting thing. As we're playing through this game, watching for those brain zaps, 
and stuff. And you'll, if you're like, I don't know what a brain zap is, you'll know it when you see it. Um, because we should get one. Uh, we'll get one. Um, soon i think but uh yeah that's a great find oh man music nailed it that's just that's awesome okay let's keep going all according to plan let's go right yeah let's do this mako scrambles your brains don't do mako i don't see any intruders yeah so screen gets hazy and green yeah Maybe they went home. Oh, hey, over there. I like this song a lot. Underrated in my opinion. Target, target sight. Light him up. Job Cloud. I'm coming. Got to love the triple slash. Uh, oh, you gotta be shitting me. Give me a bit more time and I got you. Give it up! God, let's go. Uh, you know what? Let's ascend. Let's dance, asshole. I love that. Going in. Thank you, Biggs. Uh, we need to heal a bit. Let's just pray, how about? Oh, or just get hit. You jerks, I'm about to die! Not looking good. It is not looking good. That will do. Woo, we about to die! Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Yeesh. Get up. You're done. You're done. You're done. There you go, Biggs. Thank you, sir. Eric, I did see that video. It's great. It's great. Sub and I have been talking about it a lot. Actually, it's, it's a great idea. Michael and I seem to agree on, on a lot of things there. Um, I love what he did with the Time Guardian. I think that's really, really cool. It's so good. A wedge! Hey, 
thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for the sub and thank you for the donation. Appreciate you. <laughs> Hell of a show, man. If only the ladies loved you that much. I'm glad someone's enjoying themselves. <laughs> See, they're not, they're not terrorists. They're so likable. <laughs> they just bomb reactors. Of course they storm next here. Oh, great. You ready? Hell yeah. More than you know. More than you know. Look what I found. Let's give these jerks a Hey, taste what's up? Thank you for the sub. <laughs> Alright, Wedge, you take the guy on the uh, right. Oh, there I go, trying to uh I'm trying to dodge using Final Fantasy 16 controls. Oh nothing personal. Here we go. Ooh, let's summon. Oh, not yet. Oh crap, I did not mean to do that. Oh, it's Bahamut time, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Have fun. Freaking love Bahamut, man. Oh, yeah. He's no Dion, but he'll do. I thought so. There you go, Bahamut. Get it. Um, on hard mode, you can, Hoven, um, because you come back in with all of your equipment. Yeah! Makes the dream work. Oh, this is a good movement of this song uh right, me your hand. lady um yeah christopher oz 86 sub uh, on youtube um and then somebody else donated so there were two things well aren't we having a wonderful time taking the hornet's nest our cringe king we love him I love him. You I don't know what I want. A second chance. Just the two of us. I love him so much. You turned the key. The engine roars with excitement. It hungers to be set free. Fall back. Uh, uh, right. Uh, Come on. Uh, it's been Cringe a long King, time yes. Since I fought a duel out of the saddle. But for all the miles on the clock. I'm just as fast as I ever was. I love him. At last. Dodge. Well, let's do this. Let's blast him. Get 
Cringe Lord versus Edge Lord. I don't like it. <laughs> I told you we were gonna push it past the red line. Here we go. Ah! Uh, let's uh use a little Kiraga. Yeah, it did. Oh, oh, that's <sighs> Let's do this. How the fire In the blink of an eye. Get up. I'm waiting. Rats, pay attention. Too slow. I'll oh, wait. There we go. Come on. Satisfied? <laughs> With such fleeting pleasure, hardly. Perfect there casting. To which you and I can still soar. Like on the top of a mountain. To snowboard down. I'm telling you, Roche is totally coming in on the snowboard. I love this psychopath. He's he's amazing. We really must do this again. And we will. On a mountain. Try not to die. I'll see you on the road, my friend. And Cloud's like, no, I have friends. Or <laughs> close enough. And for this guy. <laughs> oh. God damn it. Oh my gosh. Run! Wedge. Run while you can! Friendly! Friendly! Stand down! Your team shouldn't be here. Glad yours is. Hmm. will be fine, but you won't be if they start asking questions. You won't be. And who are they? First guests to the party, another avalanche cell. Our holier-than-thou friends from the old guard. <laughs> it's always their way or the highway. Lately, they've been a real pain in the ass. Hmm. Till now. So then why are they here? Beats me. We've been on the outs ever since our cell got labeled too extreme. Though they're the ones running around with mil-spec gear. Hmm. Word is, they cut a deal with Wu-Tai. Promised them all the materia in Midgar, apparently. 
think there's any truth to that? Well, you tell me. Sometimes I think we're the only ones who've realized the war's over. I love that scene. Like, oh my okay. gosh. Mission complete. There wasn't Let's make our way back. There wasn't the a lot of attention to the idea that there's other avalanche cells in the original game. And this just blows it up. I, I love it. Looking a lot more crowded now. Security. <laughs> blows it up probably isn't yeah, right. Just phrase. So are we not gonna wait for Wedge? If we stuck around or went back, he'd only get upset. Why is that? Because the soldier would understand. I'll tell him you're worried about it, no? Hmm. Our citizens have already been disturbed by the alarm. Squad A will set up here and search for suspects. You will establish a perimeter. Sid's theme is what I'm most excited you about. Over here. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Could you have been any louder? I mean, it made my job a lot easier. It's but... so good. Wait, where's Wedge? <sighs> We'll go get him. Hmm. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Mm -hmm. Come on. Not my finest hour. You get hit. Just swinged, I think. Mm. Oh, shot! Really? Let me see. Are we seriously <laughs> doing this here? Yeah. That's wow. <laughs> you guys are the worst. Huh? Your ass is fine. Maybe singed, but the only casualty is your underwear. This is like a bruise or a mild burn at worst. <laughs> <laughs> now that was a gunshot. <laughs> Is that a smile I spot? Cloud's first smile. I love it. <laughs> it's not safe here. We should go. <laughs> Copy that. And his dignity. So, how do we get back to I do, school? you're right. With a little trick I've been dying to try out. Again, tonally, this game is just so different than than 16. I love 16 with all my heart, but the goofiness of this is what, like, that is a classic Final Fantasy thing. Like, I love it. It's incredibly serious, and it has these wildly goofy moments, and it's just a beautiful blend. All residents are to return to their homes and remain indoors until further notice. I repeat, for yeah. your safety, go home. I heard someone say it was an attack. Hey, it was those terrorists, right? There has been no attack. For your safety, please go home and remain indoors until further notice. Oh, listen to this lady. <laughs> I love her. I love her. Scope out their living room. Alright, I guess we should go hide with the rest of the terrorists. Right. This is it. Through here and we're home free. That's the most southern thing you've ever heard. I hear that in any given fifteen minutes where I live. Roll tide, baby. Yeah, me too. For your dad's sake. Hey, what the hell, man? Huh? Uh, Cloud Ooh, boxes. Just saying how we hope to come back and try the Midgar special next time. Yeah. Really, huh? Cloud said that? He did. Sure did. Wants a whole pie to himself. Isn't that right? That's 
That's right. That's so right. Really? Well, okay then. Maybe I'll lend Mama hand next time too. That'd be awesome. Oh, boxes. Super duper, Super duper awesome. <laughs> oh man, got some roll tides in the in the in the chat. Right on. We do know all about that Southern living. This is just normal porch here. talk. <laughs> Bingo. Mm -hmm. I have figured my dad got it wrong, but nope. They're here just like he said. Parachutes? Mm -hmm. Huh? What do you mean half figured? 50 50 is pretty good odds if you ask me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is going to be Wait, fun. Uh, uh... <laughs> it's okay, Zach. Thanks, guys. I really appreciate you coming all this way with me. And like I said before, I'd be grateful if you kept this between us until after the mission. I don't want to complicate things. Sure. Okay, who's ready to fly? It me? is Bama. Hey, Cloud. Roll tide, baby. Gently, all right? Yep. Wait, I almost forgot. One more thing. Whoa! S stop it! What in the hell are you trying to? Uh, uh, easy, you'll make us fall. Not if you do first. On a pipe? Are you kidding me? Swing by my place after, so I can pay you in full. <laughs> With a fist bump. No! Why you have to be such a hard ass, bro? I ain't your bro. <laughs> I ain't your bro. <laughs> so. The cut off of which is great since you know what it is. I wish I could have done I always think Just that's Cloud's hand <laughs> grabbing his you thigh. Every time I think it's Cloud. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Feels like we're flying high these days. <laughs> now, more than ever. He's a keeper, all right. Yeah. Together, we can take on the world. <laughs> I love, I love that scene so much. I love it so much. I'll head home on my own. After all, I'm only a little sore. <laughs> it's cool. We'll go together. Aw, thanks, bro. <sighs> Cut Not out. your bro. <laughs> this way. Y'all, a few years ago, think Jesse and um, made it back safe? I have a... I guess. I've got a friend who's a, kind of like a real-life Jesse to me, actually. Um, sure. You know, we go back several years. Anyway, she came into town after moving away. And we were catching up, and she... Uh, she told me that she was a um, she was in training to be a skydiving instructor, and so we're out to dinner one night, and she says, um, "What are you doing this weekend?" I said, "Nothing," and she said, "Want to go skydiving?" And I was like, uh, bah, bah, "Like in two days?" And she was like, "Yeah," and I was like, "All right." So she literally took me skydiving, kind of like <laughs> Jesse <laughs> took Cloud here. It it was awesome, first of all. Uh, but I was like, oh my gosh, she's gonna kill me. It was it was amazing. So anytime I see that part, especially because they kind of have the same sort of sense of humor and the way they carry themselves, like that, that reminds me of my my friend. You know, it's not that I'm afraid of heights, it's that I'm afraid of falling to the ground. Sub, thank you for the sub. Oh my gosh, thank you. Oh, thank you for the gift sub. Thank you for the gift sub. Yeah. Appreciate you. Well, 
This is Big's place. I guess he hasn't made it home yet. Guess not. Hope he isn't worst casing it again. He's got a habit of overthinking things. Worrying about all the possible outcomes till his mm. head hurts. Wouldn't have guessed. And when he worries, That's I it. worry. <laughs> anyway, let's head on over to Jesse's. To Jesse. You wanting to leave Midgar didn't go over so well. You want to leave? Oh, I'm listen to these people. The Hear these guys? Maslow's hierarchy over here. Trying to trying to break out to the next level. Oh. You can satisfy all your wildest desires in there. Damn, I gotta go. It's not a big deal. Imagine how they'll react when you're a department head. I'll tell you this, it was it was an incredible experience. I do not regret it at all. I don't know if I would make a habit of it. Um that was like her fortieth jump or something like that. Uh, I think I'm probably one and done. I might do it one more time, I don't know. Men are not allowed inside. Lots of pretty girls trying to make it big on stage live here. So don't hang around, or they might get the wrong idea. Huh. Hmm. I'm telling you this for your own good, Cloud. People around here love to gossip. Do they know about Jessie and Avalanche? Nah, it's all good. They think she's an actress. Oh, and one more thing, bro. It's all a game to her. Don't fall for it. <laughs> you lost me. <laughs> Life's a stage and loves the play. Cassian, right? This is the most aesthetic slum you've ever seen. Life's the stage and loveless is the play. Uh -huh. you know about the secret reactor jobs? Even people from the Undercity are allowed to do them. Secret jobs? It's just a rumor, but the pay is supposed to be amazing. Secret jobs? You can't apply. You have to be selected. That sounds pretty Like Merc jobs. Actually. I'm going to try to find some. Also, the music makes this really homey. Hey there, yeah. Bigums, Reggie, Smalls. Brought a new friend. Yeah, exactly, you. sub. These little guys are on guard duty today. <laughs> okay. Thanks for seeing me. Hey, home. Leon, what's up? Really sorry about your ass. <laughs> it's all good, bro. It's kind of weird when you call me the. Hey, don't be scared. Deep down, he's a big softie. Okay. Oh, this is your favorite arrangement? Okay. Yeah, okay. Good job, guys. Great work. Good job. Great Aww, work. I missed you, too. Oh, Bigums, acting so tough. Bigums. And you, Reggie, you are just the cutest. Aw, Smalls, do you want a belly rub? <laughs> Bigum. Oh, my gosh. They just nail it. You're right. I mean, like, this is this is what's amazing about this game. Like, I... Ah. Oh, they just freaking nailed the aesthetic. They nailed the characters. They named... They, they nailed all of it. They nailed all of it. I, like... Ah. Oh, I, can't, I can't even talk about it. We will... We will blow the lid off the thing at the ending. Uh, during the credits. Because I, I just want to talk about it all. But not yet. Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> let's keep going. You know about the secret reactor jobs? I know the secret reactor jobs. Oh, yes. Hang on, I don't want to go in there. It should Just... probably go. Ah, oh, fine. I'll go see Jesse. Oh. I was wondering when you'd show up. Without further ado, here you are. Thanks for stepping up, Merc. <laughs> and now for the cherry on top. Oh. Okay, I get it. Mind letting me breathe? Depends. Mind coming over tomorrow night? My roommates should all be out for a while. Are you seriously that desperate? Just let go already. <laughs> Only if you promise to come back tomorrow night. Deal? Chat? No promises are not happening. Call her out? Racy? Not happening? What do we want? Racy's big not happening. 
Any others? Let me say yes, okay? No promises. We've got two for no promises. Not happening. No pro oh. Tied up. The thirst. Not happening. Oh, man. You chat. Ah. I don't know. I'd have probably gone. I'd have probably gone. No promises. Hang on. Let me count them. Let me count them. It's getting close here. We've got one. We've got cloud. Is it locked down yet? You party sub. That's right. Don't tell people, but that that's the truth. Jeffrey, thank you for the cheer. Thank you for the bits. How are you doing tonight? Okay. I can't even count. I can't even count. That's why we do polls. I'm terrible at this. Okay. Uh, dun, dun, dun. Not happening. If you say it in caps, then it means more. <laughs> okay. Boom. Boom. He might be into her racy if we say no promises. <laughs> no promises is the theme, right? Oh my gosh. We only have eyes for Tifa. Okay, Jedi. Okay, okay. Uh, two. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so listen. Chat. Let's make Cloud a playboy. I'm going to say no promises. Because that's the title of the theme song for Rebirth. So, here we go. No promises, but I'll think it over. Really, you will? <laughs> Look how, how happy she pizza, is! I'll have you know. Oh, a pizza! Marsh, She's gonna give it. Black Milly, red jelly. I use only the best ingredients. Sound good? Yeah, pepperoni. Uh, never heard of any of that stuff. Oh, you are so adorable. You know that? <laughs> Betrayal. You just leave everything to me. That'll be great. <laughs> Nighty night. That pizza does sound crazy. Oh, listen to her. <laughs> oh gosh I freaking love it I love Jessie so much I love her she's so cool and so fun so sweet in, in the kind of like oh we're just having fun got away right <laughs> hey beach thanks for hopping in thank you so much videos professor Wasn't that just so sweet, though? I mean, isn't that just so sweet? Cloud, like, made her die. And she's gonna make him a pizza. Let's see what's up with these slums. Try another distro route? Yeah, they say it's smooth sailing once you're in with Sector 6. They also say that once their dirt gets on your hand, I'm so sick of living life in the gutter. I want out. Getting paid in full. I just, I love, I love being here. I just love everybody here. Even Variety Store Bellwood. I, I love it all. I can buy one of these shirts in a various amount of colors. She wants a nice night with some pizza, right? Pink and red are like the go-to cute colors. What are they arguing about? As if anyone gives a shit. If it's clean and fits. <laughs> the banter here is out but of control. If you just gave the black and white combo a shot, you totally understand what I'm talking about. And you'd like pink with red if you tried it. What we need is a pair of models to dress up and settle this once and for all. Fashion show at lunch. Let's go. <laughs> I hope it'll be business as usual, too. Oh my gosh, this is my favorite bar. Have a great day, 7th Heaven. Man, we gotta hit up 7th Heaven tomorrow and have a drink with Tifa. Sounds like a plan to me. Look at the sleigh off. 7th <laughs> <laughs> Heaven does not know what's coming for him. I am so ready for it. Yeah, it's like, it's like a homecoming, right? Pink and red are valid, just Tifa colors. Wait, 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 wait. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Hoven, are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? Is this a shipping war over here? Red and pink and black and white? Are they talking about... 
Oh my god! They're talking about Aerith and Tifa! They're talking about Aerith and Tifa! I had no idea! Red and pink are the way to go! Black and white are the way to go! Oh my god! Oh then! Are you kidding me? Keep arguing. What the hell are those two arguing about? Slum fashion. That is amazing. It's clean and fits. That uh, that is the absolute most meta conversation in this entire freaking game. Oh my gosh. Uh okay. Tr trigger it back. Yeah. A pair of models to dress up and they're talking about them. Are you freaking kidding me? Oh my god, this is so meta. Oh my god, that's Ah! That is that, that is the most brain melting thing that I've seen in this game. That right there. We are just putty in their hands. They are molding us. They know exactly what they're doing to us. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, they so knew. They so freaking knew. Oh my gosh. It's nice night to finally go to a club. Or, uh, What's wrong, buddy? You good? We gotta sue the I, I need a clip of what just happened here. That That is top tier uh, discovery. Man, that's good. I don't know. I don't know, but I'm... We, sub, we, we're... Everybody in here, we, we need to clip that and shout it from the mountaintops. I'm sure that they're all aware of it. That's my first time, though, as you can see from my reaction. I just love this place. Look at these people just having so much fun. So effing funny. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. I am I am freaking dead, y'all. I am dead. You think that statement Avalanche put out is the real deal? What do you mean? Or was it faked by Wu Tai to destabilize Midgar before they invade? That's insanity. I I I'm not getting over that. That's insane. Oh Biggs! Oh, hey, Cloud. Survived the jump? Sure did. How's Wedge? He's fine. <sighs> well, that's good to hear. Tomorrow's a really What's up, Cat's Chain? All of us. Name Redipus? <laughs> I was afraid we'd have to call off the whole damn thing. Heading topside in secret. Something I could have Sounds good. Thanks, Sub. Something had happened. But Jesse had been acting weird, and I knew I couldn't just ignore her. Eggs. She must be prepping the bomb right now. Or will she be able to finish before morning? I should go and see if she needs any... Thanks. Huh? Uh, sorry. Our chute was blown pretty far off course. It felt like a bad omen or something. Thank you. So, uh, get some rest. You need it. JV, I think that I like this combat better, even though I am definitely much more... <laughs> Thanks. Um, really? I'm better at 16's combat than I am this. It's just because I've played 200 hours. Um, 200 hours in, um, 16. I, my reflexes are just trying to play 16 right now. These warmongers over here. It's okay, JV. Like, I, it's the buttons for me. I just keep pressing the wrong buttons. Oh, gosh. White is the way to, I will never get over that. That is so funny. So are you drinking? So are you drinking? Well, if it ain't the new working time. Really hope the trains will be running tomorrow. Some of us have Bro, I can't wait for rebirth. Rebirth. I'm so excited. Alright, it's bedtime. Oh, Tifa first. She's probably asleep. Okay, never mind. 
what a precious chapter chapter four has been i mean just what a delight we just we just freaking love it oh my gosh you guys um let's just sleep until tomorrow okay this was so pleasant so pleasant <laughs> Lady. Cloud? Yeah. There's our friend. You were out for a while. Well, there was Just pizza walking. and cats. <sighs> I ran into Johnny, by the way. Said not to worry. He was getting out of town. Uh. Oh, that guy. You hmm. weren't thinking of leaving Midgar anytime soon, were you? Hmm. Well, seems this old friend of mine's in a tight spot. Mm. Long time ago, I said I'd be there for her. Made a promise. So. <sighs> Can't say this is quite what I had in mind when I put that on you way back when. If you want to talk, I'm listening. Oh. Huh? What's with you all of a sudden? With me? <laughs> like you're losing that hard edge. That bad? Not at all. I like it. Maybe Marlene won't be so scared of you next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really glad to have you back, Cloud. Mm. Really glad. Oh, it's pretty late, huh? I'd like to catch up more, but we should probably both get some sleep, yeah? Probably. Yeah. Good night, then. Good night. The people on the streets are talking about you in the earth, by the Good way. Good night, Tifa. Mm. What a precious scene. But also, chat, before we get into this, let me just say something. Like, let, let me just say something. We can feel guilty about that, but, like, Cloud is unclaimed at this point. Cloud is not married, A. He's not dating anyone, B. Cloud is a single agent, and he's 21 years old. 21 years old, everybody. Do you remember being 21? Maybe you are 21. Cloud is just looking right now. Also, very important to remember. Very important to remember, everybody. Cloud is having a mental breakdown right now. He is not in a place where he needs to be in a relationship because he has chaos. He has chaos in himself right now. He needs to date Jesus for a little while, okay? He just needs to get, like, holistically well for a little bit. And then maybe, maybe one day, Cloud is going to be, uh, like, awakened enough to bring someone else into his madness. So, that's, that's what I think. So, anyway. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Oh, here they are. Sleep and dream the sweetest dreams. Oh my gosh. Let me stop there for a second, because chat, that's actually, that, that's big, that's big. If, you, if you've seen my, uh, my video on predestination and the whispers, this is an important scene. I didn't address this in the, the thing, because, in the video, because I wanted to liken the live stream to, um, to uh, the, this idea of predestination and the governance of the planet. And while I, I do believe that, I, I do believe that these arbiters of fate are defenders of the live stream of the planet but the other piece to this especially because he's hearing Sephiroth's voice i think that we're hearing or, or we're catching this sense that something's not quite right with them that these are arbiters of fate they're agents of the planet but they're also in some ways being maybe manipulated corrupted by Sephiroth here and so that's a really key thing here that that i think is going on and um we'll we'll talk more about that uh, by the end of the game and all that kind of stuff. So, there is that, everybody. Let's keep going. Ooh. Sorry. Back to gameplay. So that he won't get in the way of them tripping Jesse. Yeah. 
What's wrong? Or shipping, Jesse. Come with me. Quickly. On the way to a smile, yeah. Here they are, we baby. We were getting ready to set out when those things showed up and came after us. The others? Barrett and Jesse are holding their ground, but for how long? I don't know. Let's go. Right. Yeah, Chimera, we'll we'll have a Whispers expose you know it. at the end of the lecture series, but Let's head to the okay. Yeah, I, I hear you. The um the whispers grew on me. Um the first time I was like, oh man, I don't know, like they're they're changing too much. But like thinking about it more and more, I've really come to a place of liking them. And the way that they are conveying some of the games, the original games themes. Yeah, it seems that Jesse can see them as well. Cloud and Tifa can. Barrett. And, and there, there seems to be some. I, I think they even say that. Pretty sure you can't even see them unless they make physical contact first. Pretty sure you can't see them until they make. Physical contact first, yeah. I guess that's More of them? We're running out of time. Any other way? Yeah, over here. But the other thing about it is that, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, I'm, I'm pretty sure it says somewhere in the game that those Again? who can affect fate or have a have a role to play in the this, this planetary journey. Um, they are able to see these whispers because they're directly it's affecting like trying to fight a hurricane. Stay on your feet. You don't have to tell me that. I forget when it is we, we hear that. I think we hear it. Or something like it. There's the variety store. Yes, music. I want the lyrics to this theme. Yeah. Yeah, goddess. I, I think that they are being tainted by it. And so... in Rufus, only Rufus can see them. Right. It's these agents who are, are playing a role in the planet's destiny. Right. Yeah. Oh, I guess I can't attack that one. That was a waste. Oops. Right. So it's it's not necessarily like we'll we'll talk about this more in chapter 16, but it's not that the characters are wrong in their assessment, it's that they're misunderstanding what's happening. These are our arbiters of fate. But it seems as though they are corrupted by Sephiroth, maybe even Genova. We're just not entirely sure yet. Oh my god, get out of that. Lock on, baby. There we go. The baby Dementors are angry. That's fair. Um, you should watch the, the video at some point. Um, mainly because uh, we are going to keep referencing it. But... Ah! Don't be down. Oh wait, I forget that I can be Tifa as well. I'm just being plowed the whole time. I hear. <laughs> Could use a shower about right now.
Get this one. Come on, baby. Let's go. Nothing personal. Nailed it. Shouldn't be surprised, so never can tell what weird shit will come crawling out of the scrap down here. Hmm. It's those reactors. I'm telling you. It hurt? Wish I could say it didn't, but yeah. <laughs> Loud. God, this is so embarrassing. I hate this is so embarrassing. It happens. <laughs> Oh my goodness. What? What did you do to your leg? Did, did did does it hurt? Not nearly as much as the fuss everyone's making. Still, I think you ought to avoid putting any I'm fine. <laughs> oh. That's enough. You're out, Jesse. Huh? Yes, what about uh, this, the mission? This didn't bother me either. We already sent Biggs in, remember? Don't tell me you're thinking of calling it off. Uh, no, we got this. The hell you do. If you need someone to step up, I'm your man. I got serious. <laughs> Yarn, yeah, I, I agree. Curiosity more than cynicism. I love cloud space here. It's so good. Okay. <laughs> so here's the thing. I'm going to need a raise. Consider it done. <laughs> All right, everyone. Clouds in. The mission is on. Go and raise some hell for me, okay? Mm -hmm. Listen, Wedge. I need you to hang back and guard the home front. What? But I'm in perfect health. Which makes you the perfect choice to look after Jesse and Marlene. <sighs> hey. Mm. Let's get this show on the road to Marco Reactor 5. Once you got your gear in order, head to the station for Sir. the week. Got it? <laughs> this will help you get squared away. Don't tell me I never did nothing for you. I'm counting on you, soldier boy. <laughs> I love every time he calls him soldier boy. <sighs> Molly. I'm counting on you, bro. Don't let anything happen to the others. You got it, bro. Good luck out there, bro. And take relegated to stagehand once again. I'm starting to think I'll never have Break a Break that soldier world. boy. There's always next time. What's this? Words of encouragement? <laughs> Thanks. I need them. Hey chat, funny story. And Kay, I, like, I, I'm sure most of you have seen this, but right up here in the top right, you can't really see it um, that well, but these are pictures, scenes from the original Final Fantasy VII um, OG Seventh Heaven bar. Um, so kind of cool to see that up there behind the bar. Um, can I walk through? Yeah, I can walk through there. Yeah. So yeah, you can kind of see them right up here. Really neat stuff. Uh, maybe I can zoom in on photo mode. Um, how do I do? Oh, there it is. There's photo mode. Yeah, I sure can. 
Not well, but I can. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, see that? You can kind of see it. The lighting is not awesome, but uh Oh, I can I can do some lighting. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. See that? So this is the outside of it on the left-hand side, and then on the right side, you've got the uh, overhead. Pretty cool. Yeah, Remake is a museum of OG stuff. It's really, really cool. Um, just absolutely love that. Feels like home, baby. Feels like home. Oh, the Advent Children 7th Heaven is in one of the pictures. Okay, where where is that? Is it right here on the... Uh, Thing. That's neat. Let's look at these uh, photos. Marlene drew that. I can't quite get down there. We can look at exposure real quick. Okay. I think it's pretty much the same. The one on the right, though, looks a little different. It looks like Wedge and Jesse and Biggs sitting at a table. That's kind of cool. Uh, seven music. Where, uh, where, where did you say the uh, Advent Children one was? I'm stuck in a corner in the dark over here. I think it's on the left wall toward this entrance ceiling. Oh, like over here. Oh, is this it over here? Yeah. This may be it. Yeah, it kind of looks like that. Cloud, move. Get, get to walking, buddy. We cannot get back there, but we're going to look at it from right here. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, there it is. That's from Advent Children. That's cool. Reb. Thank you for that. And you can see all, all kinds of other things. That's not AC? Okay, well, I'll, I'll keep looking. Um, welcome to our hometown. We like to chill at a cafe, and then there's the flower that we got from Aerith. Seventh health, heaven, uh, welcome home. Yeah, I, I mean, it is. It's a love letter to those that love the OG. I, I mean, they're, they're constantly telling us, like, we respect the original game. We, we respect the story. And um, they're subverting those expectations a lot of times, but they, they love it and are cherishing it, I think. So... Um, anyway, yeah, well, well, we'll Google it later, but for now, let's get on with it. All right, let's get going. Sure. Let's do it, Tifa. After you take a deep breath. Huh? I can tell you're nervous. That obvious, huh? Eggs and chips. Okay, I'm ready now. Come on! I just got done talking with the guys you tuned those rides for. I just love the slums, man. I love them here. Head cannon, that's a southern fashion. <laughs> so, yeah, I have read Traces of Two Past. It's a fantastic book. I love it. Um, I preferred, this is not a shipping conversation, I preferred the Aerith portion of that book. Uh, excuse me, the Tifa portion of that book to Aerith. Uh, mainly because Aerith's only gave us a little new insight, but Tifa's gave us a lot of new backstory and insight. Um, but I love both of them. Um, but a fantastic book. I've said we're going to do a book club of this, so maybe we should uh, set a date to get that read by. I guess by Rebirth. We can talk about it. Traces of Tifa. I like to call it. Trying to listen to everybody. Come on, Tifa, let's go. Oh, there's old Chadley. If there's anything you require, please do not hesitate to ask. Bro, I'm, I'm good. Cloud, actually. I, I do hope you won't forget about me. I would never. Yeah, Aerith Cetra stuff, Tifa's. I love... The thing that I remember about Tifa's backstory is that she did... Um, 
she did uh, these uh, push-ups that were that really um, kind of accentuated like the back and the clavicle. So kind of straight arm push-ups. I forget what they're called. Like clavicle push-ups. Um, I'm forgetting. We do them at my gym occasionally, but I forget what they're called. I call them plank push-ups. Mission starts the moment we board that train. You sure you ready for this? Yeah, they do hurt. Um, we we use them at my gym as like a stupid warm up sometimes, where you get get on your hands and just like move them like this. They, I mean, it's actually like insane. It, it's insane because you're in a plank position. Like you can look at this. This is what we need to clip to Rogue, by the way. Um, just back and just go like this. But you feel it completely. It's scap, scapular pu uh, push-ups. That's what they're called, scap push-ups. Because you're engaging your scaps and lightly your lats the entire time. It is, if you want a workout that's gonna work your core and your, your back and shoulders, oh my gosh, it is spectacular. Absolutely. I hate everything about that. Yeah, well, it's, gets you in some beach body shape. Bodacious beach bod. So, just wait till we get to the squat day, squat stream. Once we get to Wall Market, I will do Jesus live squats on schedule during that entire stream. All we can do is hope. In my Rogue Today Fitness, really gotta be the day, where huh? Rogue Fitness, please Ain't sponsor no me. Ain't no stopping this train we're on, son. Ain't no stopping this A train we're on, son. A lot of people risk their lives to get it rolling. Already put the but word out, more is coming too. You shut them all down by the day, but we shut another down for you. Ain't on us. Leon, say more about that. That's cool. Play it cool. <sighs> Just wait. Just wait till we get to gym day. I want to be sponsored by Rogue Fitness so bad. We need to be like, look. YouTube partnered him. So, Rogue Fitness, you're up. Could you try it and let us know? It's intense. The target's Marco Reactor no, Don't don't bother Rogue Fitness. From the station, we take the back streets. You can tag them. Don't, don't harass them. Once we're inside the facility, it's the same deal as last time. Head for Marco storage. And then blow it all to hell. Let's do this one for Jesse and Wedge. They deserve it. They deserve it. Yeah, sure. <sighs> yeah, chat, if, if you want to know my honest to God goal this year, not only is it like to stream and to do YouTube videos, I want to start a gamer brand of workout. Right, There's and I, on I, 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 I'll and chat. None of them look happy to be. Let me chat with you about it. I want, I want to start this. This is like my stupid dream, right? I, I want to start a gamer-centric workout movement called Gains Before Games. Okay, Gains Before Games, and it's like we're not discounting games, but we want gains before them. So, like one of the habits that I've kind of gotten into is that I hit the gym before I play video games. On any given day that's like a, a practice that i really try to, to model because i know that once i'm into a good game it's going to be tougher for me to leave that game and get to my gains right so anyway i i want to i want to tailor make and gamify um uh workouts whether it's running whether it's um you know uh lifting all that kind of stuff that's what i really want i think that would be really really fun so whatever you should do it partner with David. Oh man, David Vincent would be a great guy to partner with on this. Might stand out as a group. Heck yeah. Like here's the thing. Like most of us are not in the shape that we want to be. At least like if you don't currently have a routine and a discipline, most of us don't get into that uh, ordinarily. Not all of us are like we we don't have the metabolism of when we were 12 or 13 years old or whatever it was, right? And so like we want to be able to get into shape, but most of us lack that early 
like motivation in those early like first 90 days or whatever but you push through it got your people with you whether they're online or at your own gym like man it's great stuff so anyway that's my like that's my other dream goal so um games before games baby you two stay here i i hear so many stories like that like we all struggle during those times yeah for sure It's not like forcing people to like, hey, make a difference, but it's like, so we'll be safe, right? let's try to like, be as be be our best selves, right? That's that's what I really want to promote. Hey, Tifa. Uh, the train will be passing an IV checkpoint shortly. Here comes the first hurdle. Not much of one. I know, I know, but that doesn't mean I don't have butterflies in my stomach. Can't fight the genes, man. <sighs> So real. Hey, would you mind keeping an eye on things the next car over? I'm worried there might be trouble. Why is that? Barrett's always on edge for big missions. But you know he's a good guy underneath it all. The people on this train don't. Let me go run damage control for Barrett. But I won't be until I know for sure. Bro, we all go into hibernation mode during uh, winter. When it's cold outside, like, it, and, and it gets dark at, like, where I am, 4.15 in the afternoon. So many, it, it's just easy to be like, nah, I'm not today. So, do you still support those terrorists? Avalanche is a flight. This guy, middle manager over here. bomb threat has thrown our offices into chaos, let alone the reactor itself. It's total insanity! But we won't lose heart. No! Everyone at Shinra agrees. The reactor will stay online. <laughs> Is that right? Uh, what? You got a problem with that? Do I have a problem Oh, with Barrett. That? Oh, you can bet. He doesn't. It is. This is good song playing. What's up, everybody? <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> Barrett, let's talk about anger. You know you're better than that. <clears throat> I love him so much. I just love him. I have nothing more to say to you and your friend. Thank you. Got some more healing materia. This guy over here standing a little too close to the wall. Hey, this ain't no joyride. My bad. <clears throat> Go see how Tifa's doing. She needs you more than I do. You need me too, Barrett. I just saved you from getting into a terrible fight. There you are. No way. Unauthorized ID detected. Threat level critical. Inspection and containment suite initiated. Commencing at the rear of the train. Not Get over here now. All right. Three minutes. Let's go. It is a um, ridiculous amount of time that they give you. Let's go. Oh god, we missed him. Run! Uh, run faster. Oh gosh, maybe I missed one. Yes, I missed one. Now let's go. No rush, Bob. No rush. You have to get out of here. What are you doing? Trying to keep you alive. But 
I work for Shinra. I'm the enemy. I don't care. I don't want anyone to die. Please. I'll look after the others. This Come man on. had some co cognitive dissonance to say. There's no end to that. This, this is a great little flourish here. Looks like you're right, soldier boy. Screw this. The station will be crawling with security. We got to We got to jump. Screw that. We need to slow the train down. Sounds like a big plan E. Oh. <laughs> Tifa radicalized it. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Ooh. I would be more scared to do this than skydive. Like, I've jumped out of a plane, never jumped off a moving train. Tifa's light motif embedded. Yeah, that's good. All right. You ready? No kiss. Ready. <laughs> uh, good, good night, Nam. Have a nice first day of class. All right, Tifa. Oh no! Yeah, definitely a softer landing, right? Barrett. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna actually mosey right through this. You're pretty light, you know. <laughs> All right, chat. So well here's. Done, well done. I felt sure we had them, didn't you, sir? Born survivors is sure at Born Speaking survivors. Which, where's the third? In custody, sir. Return it to the wild. Yes, sir. Right away. All right, everybody, so that was Heidegger. Heidegger is one of the main uh, sub-villains in this game, uh, in this trilogy, I guess. Um, and Heidegger is also the name of a philosopher, a philosopher um, who um, was alive during World War II. Um, he um, is crit criticized in a lot of ways because of his um, alignment with Nazi Germany. But also, he, um, he has some fascinating things to say about um, existence, about phenomenon, about being, and all of that. Um, while we're going to talk more about Heidegger on Thursday night, um, I'm curious, what have you heard about Heidegger? Uh, what do you know about him and his philosophy? All right, let's run through the sewers now. Born Survivors, that is the name of this battle theme. Um, battle theme in the area of this game. And then Dogged Pursuit is... Uh, did you work with Carl Jung? Um, you know what? I I'm actually not sure about that. I I'm not aware of any collaboration that they had off the top of my head. But I'll I'll research into that a little bit um, before Thursday's stream because Heidegger is the a main role in the next three chapters. This chapter and then the next two. So we'll we'll come back to him. Chimera, good good point. He's close. Come on. There. there he is. There. Let's go. Tifa, could you 
some help here. We're coming. Make it quick. Heidegger was in alignment. Yeah. We better hurry. We better. Yeah. Yeah, we had to learn a little bit about Heidegger um, and read some of his works in my grad school program, um, talking about philosophy and, and its relation to theology and religious concepts. Um, man, Cloud, try to hit him. Take the lead. Yeah, so we're going to talk about that more on Thursday, uh, but I think they do. I think they do. I think that we particularly see in the way that he views um, those under the plate, um, kind of the lower class, um, certainly. <laughs> yeah, Hoven. Looks like it's going to be plan E. Go on. Plan A was if everything went off. Yeah, nihilistic the ideas, the big station, time. It would have been a straight shot to the reactor. Didn't work out, but we knew going in we had to have alternatives. Backup plans in case we had to get off Earth. From closer in to further out, B, C, D, and so on. Up to what? To E. Lucky us. Lucky us. <laughs> Damn right. Yeah. Anyway, we were riding the train between Sector 4 and the main pillar when we had to bail out. And we ended up on the adjacent line, which should take us to Reactor 5. Yeah. That's right. So for now, we follow the tracks. Not too far, though. Need to switch to a different route before we hit the station. Because you can bet your ass it's going to be crawling with security. All on high alert. Let's move. Let's move, Tifa. Our friends in Sector 5 marked the route, so don't worry about getting lost. This is a straight shot to victory, people. All we gotta do is take it. Yeah, Hoven, I, I think that that's probably a, a right assessment. I don't know you have nothing to worry how closely about, they work, Preparations though. Preparations for the grand finale are proceeding without incident. I have the utmost confidence that everything will play out as you intended. Yes, of course. I will not fail you, sir. Mm. No. Sir, analytics reports that the results fall within the admissible yeah. range. However, the casualty rate significantly That's a good exceeds point. previous projections. Ah. Remind me what your job is. Is it to question the wisdom of your superiors and bemoan your personal hardships? Sir? Hmm. Huh. Casualty rate. You think I care about the casualty rate? There are pawns in a greater game. If your stock runs low, then go round up more for Sector 3 or wherever else. Yeah. Use your head and bring me solutions instead of problems for a change, yes? Sir. so hard to find good help these days which is why the president ought to count his blessings what would he do without me yeah <laughs> okay so i i do want to bring a couple of things into this chat um so here's just a few uh, lenses again to, to listen to some of Heidegger's dialogue. So Heidegger, as we've already said, talks a great deal about uh, nihilism, uh, existence, meanings of uh, trying to extract meaning from life and what is the right way to live. And ultimately, his response is that um, there is no right way to live in life. Uh, but the only right way of doing things is to be tr your true and authentic self to be true 
and um, authentic to yourself, rather. Um, and, and we live by considering uh, others in some ways, but by contemplating death, and that's where the nihilism begins to come in, um, we also become individualized, become our unique selves. Um, for example, one, one of the things that he says is if I take death into my life, acknowledge it and face it squarely, I will free myself from the anxiety of death and the pettiness of life, and only then will I be free to become myself. Um, now, this is all really kind of like easy to kind of think about. It all oftentimes, uh, oftentimes kind of sounds like, oh, okay, well, this isn't so bad. Like, who wants to be their own authentic, who doesn't want to be their own authentic self, right? But instead, uh, these are some of the, the positive contributions. Now, the, the other piece of this is that um, a lot of this existentialism that he moves into was, um, it ended up being kind of swept up into the Nazi regime, uh, the I ideologies of this Nazi Germany um, sort of mindset. And so, like, while it, it certainly has some merits, if your core self, is kind of corrupted then like being that core self isn't necessarily the the best idea right and so th there seems to be a self-preservationist mentality to, to heidegger that doesn't always want to assume the worst of yourself right but instead it's kind of like a justification sort of stuff now we're going to talk more about this on thursday much more in depth but i, I want to give you this kind of this teasing out of heidegger's philosophy drawing out this idea of self-justification based on your own kind of interior sort of stuff so kind of kind of an interesting thought so uh let's see read, reading a little bit in the chat here um in knows we trust, got that, yeah. Uh, really has no value in the lives of men. He just wants results without the cost. And that, that's that's probably a fair assessment, you know? But again, um, this is a lens that is as good or as corrupt as a lot as, as the beholder of it. Now, uh, we'll, we'll get into some of his more damaging stuff on Thursday. Uh, it is very villain-coded, isn't it? Yeah. His critique of the misapprehension of being throughout history of philosophy was an opposition to the nihilism he believed that uh, misapprehension engendered. Yeah, Genji, you want to say more about that? That's actually, that yeah, that's solid. That's that's an interesting observation. Yeah. Um, okay, yeah. I anyway, I any other insights? Feel free to Google Heidegger, look up some stuff. Uh, if you find something interesting that you think relates to this guy, uh, pop it in the chat or certainly in my Discord so that we can continue the conversation. All that kind of stuff. But we will, like I said, talk more about it on Thursday. Let's get back to the game uh, play for now. Okay. Nice underground hallway here. We love this. Ooh, a box. Obtained an elixir that we can't use. There's boxes. We love boxes. Snows. Oh gosh. I was always afraid that those trains would hit me. Oh, look up. There we go. Oh gosh, what's happening? What's happening? It's about to get real. What's up, J5? How you doing? Follow the blue lights. 
Blue Light Special. Anybody old enough to remember that? They claimed Bugenhagen to be the Martin Luther of FF. I don't know if there's any merit to that. I'm curious. archetype usually cheerful okay that's cool oh wrong way follow the blue lights baby attention Kmart shoppers Oh, follow the nose, baby. I did pass a hallway. Um, I, I'm kind of moving, moving forward it knows we right trust. now. Good thing our colleagues put up all that stamp graffiti. Without it, we'd be lost for sure. You can recruit Zach. I did fight those guards for hours, baby. Yeah, I did. That was. Hey yo. Oh, dodge. Ooh. Okay. Well. Why don't we give Cloud a new materia? Won't that be fun? Fire. Uh, what if we gave him that lightning materia, though? And put that there. Yeah, let's do that. Kmart shoppers. Boxes. What's that? Nothing good. Guys, I think it might be a nest. Oh wait, wait, wait. These guys are uh these guys are uh ice. They're weak to ice, I believe. Yeah, I'm not really doing all of the non-lore secrets. Since it's New Game Plus, I've already platinumed hard mode. Um, now, once we get to the DLC, I do need to platinum that. So. Hey, thanks, music. You have been incredibly helpful tonight in this. Thank you so much for all of your... Uh, Cool insights. I love that. That is interesting, Roxy. I like that. If you don't have a kind of poetic non-utilitarian sensitivity to the way the human being correlates to being itself, the way meaningfulness itself presents uh, in a largely always already kind of way. Oh, interesting. I am going to play the UP DLC. I didn't put it on the uh, banner. I forgot about it, but I am going to play it. I've played it before. I love it. But, um, yeah. Music, thank you so much for, for hanging out tonight. And everybody, if you don't follow FF7 Music over on Twitch, make sure you give him a follow. Um, just a great guy. Um, we got the... One of those rare moments we got to meet in person at a concert, um, FF7 piano concert, a couple years ago. Um, sure thing, coach. Just really, really great guy. Wealth of knowledge about um, FF7 music, particularly, as you can see. Second and third cutscenes with Heidegger. Shinra's thing. Pawns in a greater game. I like that. Oh yeah, I can't wait to use Yuffie in um, in Reaper, especially with her synergy attacks. Oh my gosh, she's gonna be so great.
Oh, I love that Genji. That's a great, really cool point. Yeah. Me too, Tifa. Me too. Oh, this part. Now we appreciate it, music. Take care, bud. Have a good night. Roxy, that's interesting as well. Chimera, that is the gameplay that I am most excited to see in Rebirth. I, everything I'm hearing from the, the Game Informer article, oh my gosh. It seems really cool. It seems really, really cool. So, cannot wait. Good old Stan. Propaganda. Sweet stamp. Oh, let's let's go ahead and swap out for fire. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Fire, and um, we'll add back in. Hey, Panda Bacon! Thank you so much for the follow. Appreciate you. Thank you, thank ya. How you doing tonight? I don't need any of that. Steel, I don't need that either. Let's do ice just because. How do we get such a shit deal? Screw it. Let's just give it a quick once over and call it a day. How did you get in here, serious? It's those three terrorists from the train! It's those three terrorists <laughs> from the train. Oh my gosh, so good! Worked up a good sweat. Worked up a good sweat. Yep. Alright. Let's figure out where the hell we are. Oh, 100%. Yeah. He definitely seems. There's an old rail yard not far from here. What we're looking for is somewhere inside. We've compiled our report on Avalanche's combat capabilities and our <clears throat> report, report, report. What good do you think a damn report will do anyone? I don't. Have you already forgotten the war with Wu Tai? An enemy spared is an enemy who will repay your kindness with blood. We must crush them thoroughly and completely, without hesitation or mercy. Shinra cannot and will not settle for anything less. Will you? Hmm. But, but, sir. If so, I can only assume that you and your men no longer wish to serve in your current positions. Is that correct? We'll prepare the prototype in Section E for immediate deployment. Right now, damn it! <clears throat> another day, another victory. How do I do it? How do I do it? <laughs> His stupid laugh. They nailed it. All right. Blue light special. Let's go. I am trying to hurry up a little bit here. Gotta love the irony of Shinra's smarmy lapdog leading the way to his master's destruction. Oh, I guess I should have gone left. Oops. Sorry, didn't follow the nose, Stamp. Anybody know the name of his friend, the little blue guy up here? We've got Stamp and somebody. I don't know. Not that I hate you. I hate the fact that Shinra took a loyal animal like that and co-opted it for their own 
Mm. He's still in Marlene's picture books. I like that Baird is just rant, uh, ranting behind us. You're starting to sound like Baird. Never mind. It's a good plan. Oh wait, hang on. Do I have lightning? Okay, we're gonna keep fire, and we're gonna turn this to lightning. Okay, let's do it. Hey, hold up. This way. Security is a lot tighter than I thought it would be. Yeah, Tifa, I know. If you stand between us and the rail yard, that's their choice. Oh boy. Let's take out the sentry launcher. Go. I love that limit break. It's so cool looking. Fury, I love that attack. That's good. You got this. Let's go. Take it over. Dang, well, that was good. That was a good hit. No getting through that gate. Let's take the stairs. Let's, Barrett. Let's go. We should be reaching that secret passage real soon. I knew Plan E wouldn't fail us. Should have called it Plan Excellent. Plan Excellent. Barrett is on it, y'all. Biggs made the plan, right? I provided some input. <laughs> Hope not too much. Hope What's not. that supposed to mean? <laughs> I love Cloud and Barrett's dynamic. It's so good. You jerk. I guess let's go ahead and do this then. Let's dance, Another asshole. limit break. Was never in doubt. Never in doubt. Me neither, Cloud. But we do need a um, a rest area. So many guards. So many guards. So little time. Keep looking for the little snack. Uh. He'll lead us to the best way. All right, everybody, just use cure. Use cure on yourselves. Yeah, their banter is so good in this game. Hey, Tifa. Okay, not yet. Ooh, boxes. Love boxes. No box is safe around me. No box. Here we go, baby. This it? Huh? Yeah, we're gonna talk about that on Thursday, Roxy. For Get sure. Back. Ah, the crab warden. I love this song. It's very good. Good little doggy. Take your best shot, asshole. Huh. Looks like an old model. Never taunt him.
Ooh, boy. Oh, good. He's got thunder, too. Just keep blasting him with all this thunder, baby. Oh, good night, Taya. Oh my gosh! What are those? This is where you come in, Barrett. Or Tifa. Tifa looks like she's handling it just fine, actually. Man, things are going well. Okay. Uh, Tifa, let's summon yours. The free? Yeah, let's go. Yeah, me too. I love that they give you tips like that. It's so cool. Anything in theology about stamp? Not yet, there's not. Maybe later. Here we go, Ifrit. Let's go. Leg is crippled. Let's go. Oh, to the generator. Ah. That was a good hit. Corporate propaganda, yeah. We'll get there. Gosh, I love this song so much! It's so good! Ah! Oh, we free! Let's go, let's go! You love to see it. Okay, come on, Cloud. Might have gone overkill there. Take him down. This music just freaking killer. Oh, so good. All clear. Ah, Studoom. Let's go. Sure. Ah, this way. Mm -hmm. Take that, Heidegger. You stamp not just Job. Oh. Say more. Sir, analytics reports that the feed went down after an anomaly was registered during the test. 
an anomaly? Or an excuse for your failure to properly prepare the armor? No, sir. All modules were confirmed fully operational. It's far more likely, given the circumstances, that the sensors were overloaded. <sighs> Is that so? All the sensors in Section E are inoperable. The President. Yes. Yes. Everything is fine, sir. Better, even. There's been a development. Yes. Understood, sir. Support that, yeah. We know exactly where they were headed. If the armor is intact, then you'd best determine the nature of this anomaly soon. Mm. Mm. Should you fail to do so, you will deal with our intruders personally. Uh, yes, sir. Don't worry. I treat my people more than fairly. Uh, so don't disappoint me. Mm. The passages beyond these shipping containers. Let's slip through them. Yeah, Thursday's going to be a lot of interesting stuff. Um, Yarn, I, I think that's really cool. You okay? Um, yeah. Yarn, we're going to start out actually with a timeline of Heidegger on Thursday night. So uh, hop in the chat early on Thursday you if you can. Because um, like we're going to talk of yeah. his um, evolution of philosophy as well as his mentor which, and all that kind of stuff. So get excited about like. that. Huh? Uh, well, hmm. Looks oh, you came from now. the YouTube. Hey, uh, what's up, self-help for trolls? Um, am I one of the single timeline guys? So I'm the kind of guy that doesn't have much of an opinion on it um more than anything i um i like to look at the game through a lot of different angles and perspectives um but if i had to be pushed into a corner um i'm of the mindset there are different worlds okay whether that's a um uh timeline or or something else that's 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 whatever um there's definitely some kind of two existences, but I believe that I don't think that there's time travel other than a reference to the future and the past. I don't think that it's necessarily time travel as like the Marvels in the game is. I think it's time travel and like an as absorption of the knowledge of the planet and the future and past memories. So it's a caveat of, of time travel um, for me. Um, so anyway, Lo and behold. one timeline, two timeline. I I'm not really sure about that sort of thing, um, but we'll we'll get to that in chapter eighteen. Nope. If he's talking about timelines, I bet he's not new. Yeah, that's how that's where I am, Chimera. But again, I who knows? It could go any way. I, I don't. Just so you know, I'm not ready to not die on any of those easier. hills. So. <laughs> when did it ever? When did it ever? All right, chat. That. is a pretty good stopping place for us. So why don't we just give it a pause here. There's my Sonic <laughs> stuff. Um, everybody, let's close out real quick. Let me chat with you um, super, super fast. 
Um, so everybody, thank you so much for hanging out tonight. Uh, it's been a great stream. Y'all been a lively chat. I love it so much. Anytime we've got ideas floating around back and forth stuff. We've had everything from philosophy, a little bit of theology. We had the clip of the century in the shipping war that existed in sector seven. So look forward to that. Even shipping. So that, like of all the things that we've discussed tonight, I think that was the win, right? I think that was the thing that's like, oh, this is it. This is the moment. So that was, that was big time and shipping with Jesse, right? I mean, even Jairus is happy tonight, baby. Um, so we're, we're all living the dream. Um, it's been so much fun. Um, I have not gotten the clip already. I've, I've got to go back and, uh, and, uh, screen cap it or something, but, um, really fun night. Thursday night, we're going to kick off with the, uh, Heidegger timeline lecture. So, um, get, get excited about that. And then we're going to watch the Heidegger cutscenes throughout the night. So much happened tonight. Uh, but it is bedtime because tomorrow I start school. Um, Classes begin for, for Bama tomorrow. So wish me luck, everybody. Um, it's going to be a good time. Um, but everybody, thank you again for, for hopping in the chat. Also, remember, we are, um, we're donating to World Central Kinch, uh, Kitchen. Uh, so if you want to make a donate, uh, donation, then uh, follow the link. And you can also, um, if, you, if you don't mind, share that. Uh, share that stuff um, on your social media as well. Uh, make sure you tag me and John Reeves in it. Uh, but everybody, this has been a great time. Uh, real quick, let's let's pay it forward a little bit, if you don't mind. Let's uh, why don't we see who's online and maybe we can um we can do a quick raid or something. If somebody you want you want to do that real quick, can we raid? Maybe it'll actually work this time. Last time I think it worked for half of you, and the other half it it didn't. Um, but let's see who's on. See who we can uh. Help out, hang out with tonight. So let's see who's on. Anybody got a suggestion? Let's see. Do, 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 do. Hey, listen, a really good friend of mine, Dustman, a uh, friend of the chat, a uh, friend of the, the stream is, uh, is currently doing this. Hop in there. He's playing some Apex Legends. I bet he's doing some uh, Final Fantasy VII skins. Why, why don't we hop in? And wish him a good night. You want to do it? Dustman's a great guy. He, he hop in, hops in our chat all the time. Okay. Okay. See you Thursday at 7. Uh, make sure you stay in for a few minutes. Tell Dustman how much you love him. All right. Bye, you guys. Have a good night. All right. In three, two, one. Should be going. Let's go. How was the uh the lecture stream today, man? Welcome guys. Uh just just so we're just so you guys know, uh I suck at these kinds of games, so uh I'm doing my best, man. I'm doing my best. What's going on guys? I missed class today, I'm sorry. I hope you're not upset. Okay, do your best. Thank you, thank you. Thank you guys for the follows. Piggy Prim. Richie. Re re Richie, Chi. What's going on, guys? It was a great class. I'll have to go back and watch the vlog.